Okay, so this should be maybe part three. I filmed part one and two at a separate date, and uh, I'm gonna be filming hopefully the rest of it today. So I thank you if you actually watch parts one and two, because and I also apologize because you have to listen to me talk by myself. That's weird. But thank you. And if you haven't seen part one and two, I will have a link somewhere, hopefully, so you can see them. Uh, these n next video, this might be a long one, I don't know. I'm hopefully not going to pull out everything, but with me, I get really sidetracked and start talking about things I shouldn't be like I am now. So, yes. Uh, so, first one I won't pull out, but that is Shadow Skill. It is an anime uh, basically about. Um, it's a different time, and there's fighters, and there's a girl who's like a really important fighter because every year, every every time one dies, this of a special fighter, a new one comes, and she's the, this new special fighter, and she has her half brother, and friend, and they fight bad people, and then for some reason the show decides to randomly cut from a strong female protagonist show to randomly her brother and make her brother into the main character, who. Fun and dandy, but the brother is voiced by Greg Ayers. So, you know, happy, happy, fun, joy, joy, fun, happy. Uh, so, yeah! Uh, next is actually one of my... F actually, the next is two of my favorite shows. Uh, one was actually my favorite show of all time in anime. Um, so, yeah. Is it still? I don't know. You'll find out soon when I do my Q&A eventually. Uh, the first one is... A box that I'm very happy that I own, and that is um, XL Saga. This is the uh, uh, chipboard, whatever you want to call it, version. Um, I got this for 25 bucks, which is a great deal for this box that has all the individual arts from the manga, I actually believe. Uh, yes, it is from the manga. How do I know that? Well, um, Princess Hyatt? Hyatt? Her name is slightly different in the manga, I think. Um, her hair's actually brown in the original manga. Not blue, like it is in the anime. So that is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna bother showing the disc because there's no point. But this chipboard, I fucking love. It's, it's awesome. Um, <laughs> let's see right there. Uh, they'll do anything to please their man or sell another DVD. It's, I don't know, it's really good. If you don't own XL, or if you've never seen XL Saga, if you want a, just a comedy, Boom, go buy this right now. And that goes with this box set, which I'm also super happy to actually own this version. Or hell, any version, because it's kind of hard to get. And that is Azumanga Dial, the animation. Um, note, noted to be one of and is kind of my favorite anime ever. And a lot of people might look at me and go, are you special needs? Are you out there? Well, yes and yes. Um, this anime is really funny, and it's really, really good. And um, if you don't know, the person who wrote uh, this, originally the manga was a, um, a panel manga. Uh, what do you call it? Four panel manga, where it's like individual laugh uh, things, where it's like panel, 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 and then it's just one joke. Uh, you see them in a lot of manga at the very back of the manga. Uh, the whole manga of Azumanga Dial is like that. And um, it's... The actual anime is really good. It's made by the person who made um, Yatsuba. Which, if you haven't heard of Yatsuba in manga, then. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Yatsuba's great! Um, so, yeah. Uh, the next is the series that I'm actually currently watching. And that is Great Teacher Odezuka. I'm not going to pull up both. Um, actually, yes, I will. No, I won't, because everything will fall. But <laughs> Great Teacher Odezuka. Uh, notable. One of the only, one of the only, there's a couple, um, series that Tokyopop, the manga people, actually released. Um, and it's, the show itself is actually pretty good. Uh, it's about a teacher who, you know, um, teaches, but he's also kind of was a gangster, a Yakuza kind of dude. So he has a very strange way of teaching. And each episode is him helping another student. The student might hate him, and then he helps him, or the student might try to commit suicide, and he helps him. It's, it's really cool. It's a really good show. Um, only thing is, voice actors in English-wise, there's only really two voice actors, and that is um, Steve Bloom, I believe his name is. He's Spike Spiegel. And uh, Wendy Lee, who is Haruhi. They're like the only voice actors. They play almost everybody. It's kind of ridiculous. 
but the show itself is really good, and if you have a chance to get it, I think it was actually re-released recently. Uh, well, I should put that the other way. You should actually check it out. I totally recommend it. Uh, so yeah. Next is the uh, Samurai Shampoo, which is a, a pretty decent series. Um, some people... Okay, let me just say this. The person who made Cowboy Bebop made Samurai Shampoo, and a lot of people either love Samurai Shampoo, or love um, uh, the other one, Cowboy Bebop. And uh, I'm more on Cowboy Bebop, even when I haven't fully seen Cowboy Bebop. Um, Samurai Shampoo is just basically a story where dude running around with a sword, runs into another dude who owes a favor to some girl to get her across the land and because she's trying to meet a man who uh, smells like sunflowers. That's the show. So uh, each episode is usually its own story. I like anime that it's one shot episodes and uh, it's nice but the ending is kind of stupid. Um, they could easily make I think a film uh, like a new film that's just a continuation and it would be pretty decent I think. But um, yeah, screw that. We have Harley Sue's Mia next. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm glad to own anything of Harley Suzumiya. If a lot of people don't know, this show is actually um, really, really hard to find now. And this is one of the special uh, versions of it because it's got the whole opening box. Sorry, <laughs> you can't see what I'm doing. But um, it's got the whole opening. It's all the individual DVDs. I felt frozen there for a second. Uh, they all look like the Japanese release. It's really cool. Only thing is, Bondi is long gone, so season one and season two is gonna cost you way, way too much money uh, if you ever wanna own it. And hell, even the movie costs like 80 bucks if you just want the movie, which if you haven't seen Disappearance of Harvey Susan Mia, if you haven't seen the show, just watch the movie. The movie is, it's like three hours long. But it's amazing, it's based off the novel, uh, which actually I have right here. Uh, the Disappearance of Harvey Susan Mia. Go read the, go read the novels, wow, just do everything in your power. It's a really good series. Uh, some people think it's overrated. It is, um, but if you're gonna watch this, I highly recommend it. Even if you hate, watch the dub. It's amazing. Uh, Crispin Freeman, I, I've talked about Crispin Freeman about 10 times. Why? Because he's a good voice actor and I want him to come back. Um, Shadow Star Naburuturu <laughs> is the weirdest show. Um, ooh, glare. I think I've seen um, because I went into it thinking one thing, then thought something else, and at the end, I thought something completely different. Um, so there is a YouTuber online by the name of Giga Frosty. He is, half of these are upside down, oh well. Uh, he is a YouTuber that basically, um, how can I explain this? He pretty much owns every single anime DVD in existence. Uh, he started out by showing everything that he owns. And I mean, there's so much of it. And now every single week, every single Tuesday, he usually uploads it on the Wednesday, he will post the update video showing what he's gotten. And, you know, it's at least like 10 things a week, 10, you know, so much. Uh, he gets the DVDs and Blu-rays, everything. And he just does that so he can show you, look, here's all the stuff I have, and here's every single week leading up to what I have. And he pretty much owns everything. He has probably the biggest anime collection. If not, he is up there in owning the biggest anime collection. And I don't think a lot of, like a lot, he, there's a lot of people subscribe to him, but not a lot of people who should be are. Uh, so search up Giga Frosty. He uh, kind of a kind of a weird guy, but he's also awesome. Uh, I really do like the guy. So he, yeah, uh, go check him out. Oh, but I didn't even talk about the show. <laughs> made by uh, the director who made um, oh the script, the screenwriter of Serial Experiments Lane, one of the weirdest psychological anime I talked about last video. Um, made this. Assumingly kid show about a girl finding a pet starfish and then going on adventures. That's how it starts off. Then it ends up with a girl committing suicide and like swords being attacking this one girl. It gets really, really messed up. So if you want to see something 
almost like Digimon Tamer psychologically weird, which by the way is also done by the guy who did Lane. Um, check this out, but I don't fully recommend it. Uh, well, I'm not going to bother pulling it out, but next is Full Metal Alchemist Season 1 and 2. Um, uh, sorry for the glare, it's kind of, my lighting is weird. Uh, season 1 and 2 of Full Metal Alchemist, not much to say, it's the original series. I haven't seen Brotherhood, uh, well, I've seen a couple episodes of Brotherhood, I know of it. Um, I haven't really read the manga either, I know. But I've watched the original show, because a lot of people said, you should watch the original show. If you're gonna watch Brotherhood, at least watch the original show. Um, sorry, I'm having a drink in my hand. Um, and I'm like, well, I'm gonna give it a chance. And um, it took me a long time to watch it, because I watched season one like in two days, which for me is ridiculous for watching things. And then months went by before I really dug into season two. And that was not recent recently, but it was kind of recently. And I finally finished it. And the ending is such an interesting idea. Um, they made a film that actually continues the ending. I won't be spoiling it because, you know, some people have, still want to see it. But the ending is such an interesting idea with parallel universes and stuff um, that there was a movie spinoff from this series, not Brotherhood, that actually continues that um, storyline. And I kind of want to see that movie even when people say it's utter shit because it shouldn't exist, because that's a filler kind of thing. Uh, but I want to see it personally. Uh, so yeah. Next is a show. Uh, a lot of people, <laughs> if you haven't realized by now, I love psychological anime. It's one of my favorite anime genres. Um, next is Lucky Bop Vandom. Um, you have to say it like that because that's literally um, <laughs> how they say it. Uh, Boogie Pop Phantom, you might think this is a really weird bootleg release, isn't it? It's not, it's actually Right Stuff's release. They actually released anime. Um, I know, it looks so bootleg, it's ridiculous, but it's not. Um, so, Boogie Pop Phantom, um, if you like Lane, if you know what I've been talking about about Zero Experiments Lane, and you want something similar, this is how I say you should watch. Uh, I think you should watch Zero Experiments Lane, then you should watch uh, Perfect Blue and pretend that is a sequel to Lane. And then after that, watch the time skip uh, in the future uh, sequel or parallel universe sequel to Lane. Or uh, Lane in a different uh, country, like a different, a different uh, part of Japan uh, and their storyline, which would be in my eyes Boogie Pop Phantom because uh, it's very psychological. There's different characters have their own different story. Christmas Freeman has an appearance. Um, uh, I'm trying to, I, it's really hard for me to explain. Basically, people get weird powers, kind of, and uh, um, weird, crazy stuff happens. I can't explain this show at all, and I apologize. But there's an episode with a cop telling another cop a story, and it ends with a twist, and it's so good. Uh, so, it's very dated, it looks really old. If you don't like old anime, you might not like any of the anime I just mentioned, but uh, if you like any of the anime I've mentioned, please go check out Boogie Pop Phantom if you haven't. So yeah! Um, next, I'm going to pull out three anime here because I don't have too, too much to talk about except for the last one. Uh, and that is Princess Tutu, My Heim, My Otome, and Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. Um, basically, I don't have too much to say. Sorry about the lighting. I know it's awful and I apologize sincerely. Uh, Princess Tutu, I've tried to watch an episode of it. Uh, I know it's really, really good, but I don't like the whole dancing thing. I know I'm stupid. I should probably go and watch it, but uh, apparently a girl who dances and there's really nice classical music and somehow she gets turned into a duck and she's trying to get in love with some guy who's a dancer and I don't know. I can't really get into it. Um, so yeah, sorry. The next is my, the, my Ziheim or whatever. From what I've seen, which was like an episode and a half, I guess there's like these special maids or something like that. And they like, when they join the special maid group, they get like powers. I think I'm talking about the right show anyways. <laughs> and they get like powers and they um, can like help the day when evil things come to attack and this special maid group doesn't allow everyone to join, and this girl who's like kind of homeless 
runs into this girl who's going to join this maid group and get training from them and somehow I guess she has the this magical thing that allows her to be a really good maid princess thing and uh, they let her join and be trained in the same school it makes no sense um, the reason why I bought it was it was a Bondi title and Bondi is now to print and very very hard to get a lot of titles I got it for $17 show yes. uh, but next is a show that um, is really really good uh, I need to see season two and that is Ghost in the Shell uh, last video I mentioned how Ghost in the Shell uh, had a movie and the movie I think a lot of people should watch but this show um, it's, it's hard to explain. Basically, they are a group of kind of special police agency who stop uh, cyber terrorists because where they are is there's, um, it's the future and they can jump into uh, these things, these shells, uh, these bodies, which they keep their ghost, uh, which is like their soul and they can go into other bodies and that's why it's ghost in the shell because that's not her real body it's just a ghost in a shell i know but um it's really cool um sci-fi kind of um csi type show and um it's a cool thing it does where it does um how is it how does it call it it goes um well some of the episodes are called like standalone complex which means um they're standalone episodes, so you can watch them, and they uh, are one story each episode. And then there's, uh, I think they're called complex episodes, which are the continuing story about a cyber terrorist called Laughing Man. And this is just season one. I haven't seen season two, but it's really good, and if you can get them, pick them up. Um, it probably helps if you know something about Ghost in the Shell, but you can watch this and not know anything because it's a prequel. Uh, and I know they've made a new prequel that came out recently that looks freaking awful in my opinion. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Next, I won't pull it out, is uh, Outlaw Star. Um, basically, imagine uh, Cowboy Bebop, except more like Trigun. There's more running around. I should probably move this camera down. <laughs> There's more running around and more, uh, you know, fights with ships and stuff. I don't know. It's, um, from what I've seen, I've only seen the first disc, and it's, it's decent. It's very decent, but I haven't really got too in depth with it um but if you like space kind of uh show i thought my camera turned off if you like space kind of shows um actually it's kind of like firefly kind of but if you like space kind of westerns you might like this and if you like old school anime then you will like that too and i mean old school like 90s um so yeah next i will pull out and that's solely um I have a re review of Soul Eater. Some of you may know my opinion on Soul Eater. Some of you, most of you probably do not. And uh, basically it is Soul Eater is a great shonen show with one of the worst endings in my opinion. Uh, it, it's up there with the whole Death Note debacle. Where they're like, uh, oh, let's kill a very important character. I'm not going to say who because some people haven't seen Death Note. Let's kill a really, really important character and then continue the show. Um, this show doesn't do that, but it does something where it's so... Okay, let me explain. This, the manga, uh, just finished recently. This ended years ago. So they made up an ending. And I haven't read up to the point in the manga where this ending may take place, but the whole idea of how they defeat the bad guy is one of the stupidest things I've seen in anime. It pisses me off because if you really think about it deep and hard, uh, it doesn't make any sense. If you want to see what I'm talking about, I have a review. I might link it somewhere. Uh, watch just the end of the review just to hear the rant on why I don't like it. If you've seen it, if you haven't, then um, don't watch that review. Uh, next is Bastard. Uh, basically, Wizard Guy gets summoned, Wendy Lee screaming and getting almost raped. And uh, it's only six episodes. Nothing great. Um, Gininar Ninar. <laughs> Uh, you're probably thinking, why don't you have the box set on that? That is because I bought it and uh, the guy said, doesn't come with this and I wasn't really paying attention and then I got these singles and I was like, huh, what happened to the box? But um, basically it's a mech show that almost seems like a parody of mech shows and I got an episode in and then Greg Air started talking again. 
Greg Ayers, I like you. I really do. And I might make fun of you a lot. Don't sue me. Uh, so yeah, next is an anime that I want everyone to see. Uh, I haven't actually reviewed it, which is weird. Um, and I probably should. And that is Kinos, Kinos, Kernos, I don't know how you want to say it, Journey. Um, it's very short. It's like 13 episodes. Yeah, 13 episodes. Uh, it's about a traveler who travels on her motorcycle to town to town and she will only stay about three days because if she stays longer than three days she's not a tr uh, uh, she's not on a journey anymore she's not a traveler anymore she is just staying um and it's a very kind of depressing uh anime there's a bit of psychological stuff too but it's very um it's depressing there's some very happy moments there's some weird moments but this, the ending to this anime, um, what's next? I see what's next, but we're not going to talk about that. Let me just pull that out. Is up there with the pressing with the Angel Beats ending. Uh, both 13 episodes if you haven't seen either. Um, I'm not going to want to say it, but I, I kind of want to. But the ending of this is, it's one of these things where she finally finds a place that she wants to stay at. And they tell her, no, you can't. And she's like, you know, you're right. And then she leaves. And then she reads a letter. And while she reads the letter, uh, something happens. And it's so jaw-dropping. It's one of the animes where you watch it, you stop watch. Like, you're, when it's done, you see the credits. And you sit there. Same thing with Angel Beats. Angel Beats, if you don't know, is a show about uh, kids in purgatory with guns killing angels. Because they don't want to be taken to the other side. And the ending kind of is the same thing, where you just sit there and you're like, wow. Um, and I recommend highly both of them. That was two, was it two birds, one stone, one bird, five stone, I don't know. Uh, next is a video I had a rant of uh, this case. Damn you, uh, I can't say their name, but they have books and thrift in their name. Um, sent me this disgusting box. Um, Last Exile, Gonzo made it. Um, basically, from what I've seen, I haven't seen much of it, but basically, uh, kids, uh, they're like playing couriers, they send messages to different places for money, and they basically end up doing the dying man's words for him, and it's very dangerous, and that seems to be what the show is. I haven't gotten too far, I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, some of these I'm just gonna pull out like this and then talk. Uh, actually, I'll just do that to these here. Uh, and that is... Oh, man, you can't even see them. I apologize. This lighting is bloody awful. You should you should hate me. Um, and that is... We'll just pull them out like that. Uh, Kihon Misu... <laughs> I can't pronounce things. Season 1. Uh, season 1? The Last Heroine. Whatever. Uh, basically, it is, I think, Romance of... The the, was it Three Kingdoms, Four Kingdoms, whatever. Uh, it's like that story, except a lot more fan y and lolly and stuff like that. It's kind of funny. It's a Sentai release. It's only subbed. This is just season one, but you can buy the complete season now from them for about the same price. Uh, I'll, another same price. I've been 17 bucks on here, not knowing for 30 something I could got got it for complete whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, next is my cover. I talked about this a long time ago. My cover of Metabots. Uh, I bought this without the original cover because the same exact company who sent me the other one I just bitched about uh, sent me this. So I had to make my own cover. And um, this is Metabots Complete Season 1. Uh, ooh, that disc is out. It's not a bootleg, it's just my cover. Um, Metabots! It's really good. <laughs> if you've never heard of Metabots, uh, it's up there with like Monster Rancher, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's that kind of thing. Uh, none of it's almost been released except for this here. Um, and I'm happy I own it. Uh, it's the most notable thing is some of the voice actors from um, Jimmy Neutron and uh, my, uh, Magic School Bus are in the show and it's really weird. Uh, basically, imagine Pokemon except for with robots. That's the show. And uh, one of the lines is, um, uh, Metabots, Robo Battle, Ghetto Battle, <laughs> Metabots. It's amazing. Uh, next is Cyber City. Really, 
old show, nothing notable to say, I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, Murder Princess, which was a show that I bought on a whim for a very cheap. Uh, this is one of the first shows I actually bought. It's only six episodes, I think. Six? Yeah, six episodes. Uh, basically, girl uh, who's a thief kind of murderer kind of person, uh, somehow in a falling uh, moment uh, between deaths, which is her body with a princess's body, and then because now she's the princess and the princess is now the thief, the princess, who is also a murderer kind of thief person, has to kind of go on the good side and um, help save the kingdom from evil monsters and that kind of junk. It's pretty good. I wouldn't spend more than 10 bucks. Uh, well, I might, I might, because I did. <laughs> but uh, don't spend too much on this series. It's not worth it, because it's only six episodes. But if you're wanting something to watch that's short, watch that. And... <laughs> How many minutes are we in? Oh my god. Let me go fast. Uh, Alien 9. If you like Madoka Magica and you want to watch something kind of similar, watch Alien 9. It's four episodes. It's really badly animated, but I think Madoka took some of the ideas from that in the weird parts of the category. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, you should all know Cowboy Bebop. If you don't, go Cowboy Bebop right now. Uh, Ushio and Tora, basically imagine... Um, how can I explain it? Imagine Inuyasha, except instead of being Kagome and Inuyasha, it's a kid like Inuyasha and a giant monster beast thing kind of like Inuyasha. So imagine Inuyasha hanging out with Inuyasha and then fighting evil demons. <laughs> and it's only like 10 episodes, I think. Uh, so yeah. Next is Queen's Blade. This is series 1 and 2. Which is weirdly out of print, kind of. It's weird. Uh, they keep releasing season one and season two, and then they release seasons one and two for like fifteen dollars. And now this box set is hard to find. Now you can find season one and two again separately. I don't know what happened there. It was kind of weird, uh, but I'm kind of glad that I have it. Uh, can I fix this lighting? Probably not. And I highly apologize. Uh, next is Morbito, Mori, Moribo, whatever. Um, really good series I don't think anybody knows about. Uh, so go check this out, Moribito. Basically, um, woman saves a prince, the mother of the prince knows there's someone trying to kill the prince, so she asks her to take the prince along with her and basically she trains him and protects him from uh, bad people trying to kill him. So yeah. Uh, next is Genshiken. Uh, basically, it's a very, I don't know, it's a show that's like, hey, otaku, yay, otaku, buy us, and then you watch it, and it's like, okay, season's one, great, and then season two is very yaoi and stuff like that, and it bugged me. Uh, and season three, which is called season two, which is fucking weird, is airing right now. Oh no, maybe it just finished. I think it just finished. So, yeah, and there is a uh, fucking, uh, ooh, I shouldn't use bad words, I apologize, I'm not going to continue that sentence, yeah! So yeah, <laughs> next, actually, before we do the next one, uh, this is actually Kuchibiki Unbalanced. If you've seen Genshiken, the show that they watch in Genshiken is this show. And no, this isn't a real show that just aired before Genshiken, this was made because of Genshiken had it in the show, but it's not the show that they were really watching, but it is the show. It's weird! Uh, so yeah. Uh, next I'm actually gonna grab, I should just grab these four because they're all basically the same thing. Um, these are all released by Anime Works, actually almost all the things I've shown you from Queen's Blade Down is Anime Works. They're very famous for taking a show, either dubbing it really badly or releasing it really badly. Um, green Green my most hated anime, um, I think, it might change soon, uh, Simadun, which apparently is a, uh, Yuri thing, kind of, I don't know, I've never seen it, it was like $11, so I bought it, uh, Strawberry Panic, same exact deal, uh, except I tr started watching episode one, and just stopped, <laughs> and, uh, next is Otobuku, the maidens are falling for me about a guy whose grandfather said, Hey, don't 
Don't know why my camera randomly turns off. But uh, he said, um, I have a really good school for you. It's a girl's school. You gotta dress like a girl to go to school. And he's like, okay, grandfather. <laughs> and he does it. Um, sadly, this was not the show I was looking for. Uh, I got it really dirt cheap because of anime works. But there's another show apparently near the same that I was looking for because it sounded hilarious. This was not it. So I haven't actually seen it. But this is also famous for this channel anyways. Where I say this is possibly the worst packaging of all time. Normal slim case, right? You know, oh it's going to be a spindle. Wait for this. I don't mean the holders. That's real. It's not a bootleg. I know. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to grab all of these um, and we're going to go through them kind of fast because what they are are the save editions from Funimation. Um, what I'm just moving there is something I bought that will be in next week's, uh, next week? Yeah, I think I'll be posting it next week. This month's update, which I'm actually not showing you the things from this month's update, I think. Some of them I may have showed you, but most of them are actually hiding. Um, so the first one is Air Gear. Uh, I think this was actually the second anime I ever bought actually doing this whole anime thing it was very early on it's a save edition basically um, imagine Jet Set Radio except it's um, kids not doing Jet Set Radio uh, rollerblading there's gangs it's cool but then it ends doing this whole like uh, we're gonna be the best that ever was and then it ends and then there was no more and it's like what the hell? And the manga's still going. So, that's another series where it does not have a complete ending. Uh, next is Corpse Princess, which I have flipped inside out because of the whole save edition. Um, basically, girl who was was killed and then she comes back because there's these things called Corpse Princesses or girls at a certain age that can come back to kill demons. After 100 demons, they can... Uh, was it pass on or come to life? I don't remember. But uh, of course, there's this whole subplot where eventually these bad demons come and try to, they make their own and they, they, uh, they start spreading truths around that these priests are lying and it's an okay show. The OVA um, should have been played. Okay, basically, this whole show goes on, and there's an OVA that basically should take place in the middle of the series, but watching it after the series is over is very jarring and not right, in my opinion. But it's an okay series. It's cheap. So most of these I'm going to actually recommend, except for this one. Uh, Coyote Ragtime Show. It's just random action heist that is not needed. It's just, it's not very good. It's not very well done. It's not really worth it, but it's kind of cheap. It's like $11, so... If you can get it cheap, why not? But I don't recommend it. Um, I, what I do recommend is watching the trailer. Because the trailer has dialogue, I swear, from One Piece. They're like, uh, blah, 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 king of the, the bandits, hid his treasure in one place. And it's, it's like, oh my god, what the hell? Uh, next is Girls Bravel, which, yes, it's fan service just to being fan service. And I bought it knowing it was going to be fan service just to be fan service. And it's exactly what it is, but it's not that great. It's one of those um, fan service shows that just isn't trying. Uh, so I can't really recommend it that much. Alien Girl from a planet where it's only girls and there's like one guy every thousand girls, and she ends up on a planet where her first person she sees is some dude, and that's the show. Uh, next is a show. Uh, let me just actually take a sip of something because my throat is my throat is hurting. Let me go back. We have come to America. Um, the next show is a show that I actually put up there with XL Saga. This could be like the um, the spiritual successor to uh, XL Saga, and that is a uh, Penny Penny Pony Dash, a uh, school teacher who's like ten teaching kids who are like twelve, and that's the show. Um, there's a, uh, a a bunny who wants to commit suicide. <laughs> all that stuff. It's really good. If you want a really laid back, out of there comedy, check Penny Pony Dash. Um, canon. Uh, canon. It's made by the people who made Haruhi, I think. It looks like it. 
except uh, it's just not my thing. It's a weird drama. I like certain drama. This is not what I wanted. Um, I'm going to do this one show last, but before we do that is Icky Towson, which I bought with uh, my uh, Girls Bravo, knowing what it was. And out of the two, this was much, much better, even though it was shit. Uh, there's actually like four seasons of this stupid show now, and it's basically girls fighting each other and then, well, that happening once. Why? My mama decided to come in and yell throughout the house. Good job, you. Uh, so yes, um, Icky Towson, whatever. Uh, next is a show that I want everyone watching this to support because I really want seasons three and four to be released. Um, I've made a review. This is one of my first anime reviews on this channel. It's not very good, but I will link it. Uh, and that is D. Gray Man. It's basically imagine Full Metal Alchemist, except just more um, futuristic with a lot more demons and stuff running around. But if you like Full Metal Alchemist in any way, I think D. Gray Man is your second choice to be watching it. Um, voiced by Vic Mignotta's boyfriend, apparently, and that is Todd Apricorn, Habricorn, whatever his name is. Um, this show, I really, really, really like, and there will probably never dub and release seasons three and four, even though at the end of season two, they do the whole, on the next episode of The Great Man, we are going to show you something that will never happen, and there's an important character that's going to be finally finally introduced in the next like episode they show it and we're never gonna get it in dub and a lot of you are gonna go just watch the subtitle version no <laughs> i will wait and i know it'll never come and i really want it to come um on dvd i just i want season three and four of the gray man and it'll probably never happen so if you like full metal alchemist Support this show, please. Um, it's really cheap. It's a save edition. You get it for like 15, 20 bucks each. If you're an American, it's really cheap. Uh, and I really recommend you picking it up. And yeah, that should be the end of this shelf. And uh, I apologize for you to watching this video and all the other videos, but we have one more to go. Uh, and it's a very important one because if you guys do not know, a little show called One Piece is my fa one of my favorites. Um, and you'll be seeing that little collection with a few other things I've probably mentioned. Uh, and you'll also be seeing, uh, basically you're going to be seeing my figure slash uh, One Piece collection. And my singles. And that video should actually be quite short. And it'll be the last one for the anime. And maybe within the next week or two, I will be making the manga collection, which has doubled since last year. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, hopefully it'll be coming soon. And thank you.